Hi, this is Rob, and I'm Joe with InstructionalFitness.com. Today we're at Gold Gym in Venice Beach with many consider the mecca of bodybuilding or fitness. And today Rob is our senior citizen specialist. He's going to demonstrate for you the correct way to do exercises that's going to benefit your everyday living, activities, and your overall fitness levels. I'm going to play the role of a senior citizen while Rob does the part of talking and telling you the important things to do and not to do. What we're talking about today is we're going to be going over uh, a simple complaint that a lot of senior citizens have, which is having difficulty going up and down stairs. The problem with this is twofold. Number one, balance, and number two, just the strength of the leg muscles. So we're going to work both those things in one exercise by a very common thing, which is we're going to use a step here. And by using the step, we're just going to go up and down and strengthen the leg muscles while at the same time improving balance. So okay. if I was working with Joe, if you were my senior citizen, like we do with all, all the time with our, our people, we want to make sure that they're stable, so I'm going to give him my hands and let him use my hands for balance. That's when we're starting out. He's going to put his left foot up on the step, and you want to make sure that the foot is all the way on the step. A lot of times, one of the problems that the people have is they put the foot up halfway, and of course, that's a real easy way to lose balance. Now, he's going to want to move forward and just kind of rock forward a little bit with his weight, and then push that leg in and come up and stand on the step. Then he's going to step back with his right foot and come right back down to the starting position. Okay, so I don't take this foot off. I leave it on all the time? This foot stays right there because all we're trying to do is we're just trying to do repetitions with that one leg. Okay. So we'll work about 12 repetitions all at the same time up and down just like this. This is what I do with someone who's just starting out. Now this step right here is probably about a four inch step. That may be a little challenging for some older people, so we can always drop it down and make it a two inch step. You can really feel it, actually, I feel it in the quadricep and Absolutely, the in the glutes. In the butt. It's all working, yeah, okay. all that's working together. So they don't even need weight on something like this. They, they don't do need, the they don't need a thing. Okay. Now, if they're working at home alone, a senior citizen can do this on the bottom step of a flight of stairs. Okay. And they've got a banister rally. there that they can hang on to to use as assistance, but they want to try and not use too much of pull with the upper body. Okay. They don't want to drag themselves upstairs because that's a lot of times the problem is they're using too much upper body to try and lift themselves upstairs. Okay. But when we're doing it just one step at a time like this, it makes it much easier and they can balance and hold on just using one hand on a banister and it helps a lot. One thing I, I see in the gym, I mean, you're the specialist with the senior citizens, but what the average person I see is they have a tendency, they try to use a lot of weight or something, yeah. and they're leaning forward. Yes. Is this a problem with the senior citizens with that's their balance? A, that's a huge problem with balance and also because what, one of the things you want to realize is when you do an exercise with your body out of proper alignment, so the shoulders are forward, the head is forward, this is the position, what you're doing, you're exercising in this position and essentially training the body that this is the proper position. Okay. So the first thing you always want to do, whether you're using lower body, upper body, anything is make sure that your head is up, your shoulders are back, your posture is right, your core is engaged. You want to work from this position, not from this position. Okay. And that's that right there is very difficult for some senior citizens. That right there, just, just holding posture can be an exercise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so this is simple. Now the next thing I'd do if someone had advanced is I'd say, okay, now come on up and then back down. Now this time come up, but don't put the other foot on. So just balance and come down. So and push up and balance. balance. Okay, balance and, come and down. strength. Exactly. And then as they get really good, we say, okay, come up and now lift the opposite knee up high. Bring that knee up and then go back. Now what's this doing by raising it up? This one also, this now we're engaging the hip flexors on the opposing leg. Okay. So we're strengthening the hip flexors as well as working the quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes on the other side. And then when we switch legs, of course, we're working the other side. So we get total involvement with the entire lower body. Right. Now, I know with my experience in the medical field, I find a lot of patients, the older patients, have actually very tightened hip flexors because yes. of lack of use. Yes. They, they stay in a contracted position, so the hip flexors get they've, very tight. And they've been sitting contracted. for years. Right. <laughs> so by doing something like this, is that going to help stretch it back out, give them more flexibility? That is going to, any use of the hip flexor will help to stretch it out a certain amount, but then okay. if they do have chronically tight ha uh, hip flexors, we maybe want to do some things to stretch those out a little bit. Okay. A way to do something simple like that would be if I want to stretch my hip flexor, all I have to do is I have to get my leg behind me and then kind of push forward a little bit and feel that stretch right through here. And that's going to help to stretch out that hip okay. flexor a little bit. 
All they have to do is grab a kitchen counter, grab the back of a chair, get into this position, so I'm in sort of a lunge forward position, and then move forward, lift that foot, and kind of, then I'm pushing forward with my hips. That's going to stretch out that hip flexor. they flexion. want to do this before the exercise, or after, or, or during? Usually the best thing is maybe uh, stretch in between each set. Okay. So do a set, and then stretch, and then do a set, and then right. stretch. Okay. All right. Yeah.